What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I wanted to give you guys a quick run through of this really cool Columbus fifth wheel that just came in. We're at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this really nice floor plan that I think a lot of you will appreciate. So hang tight. I'll be right back. So in front of you is a really nice light and airy colored Columbus 387 FK. That stands for front kitchen. This is a beautiful, beautiful looking fifth wheel. You can see right off the bat that it utilizes a drop frame. And the reason why you can tell is because it tapers in right here. Looking underneath here, you can see the drop frame closer up. This is an 8-inch I-beam and it is attached to the bottom of a 10-inch main channel going all the way back. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this Columbus. So this fifth wheel has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,200 pounds, rides on G-rated 16-inch tires, which is nice, twin 7,000-pound axles, and it has a cargo capacity of 3,099 pounds. It has a beautiful exterior to it. This is definitely lighter in tone, and it's more reminiscent of earlier models that I've seen. So a lot of the RVs you see now have really aggressive dark decals and stickering going down the side, whereas this one seems to have a more lighter, airier tone to it, which looks nice. It has the upgraded Moride rubber pin box up front, runs the hydraulic LCI level up auto leveling system, Schwintech slide up front, has rack and pinion slides here towards the back, this utilizes the Moride Cree 3000 suspension system and the Westlake G-rated 16-inch tires. These G-rated tires are actually pretty good quality tires, so if you get an RV that has the Westlake G-rated tires, you're getting a pretty good tire, and I don't personally believe there's any reason to rush to upgrading these tires because these should last a good long time, and they are an all-steel-rated tire, which is really nice. Back of your furnace... Here's your dump station right here. And then you have another dump station right over here for your gray water. So this dump station up here is actually attached to the front of this unit. Once we go inside, we'll see specifically what will go through there. 50 amp connection here. Coming around to the back. So this utilizes three different types of slide technology. It has kind of that flat pancake style system that is inside of the unit here kind of traditional on wardrobe slides. Then it has rack and pinion there and it has Schwintech up front. It's very, very different to see three different types of slide systems on an RV. Typically it's gonna be this plus rack and pinion or it'll be Schwintech plus rack and pinion, but rarely do you see three of them like that. This is the back of your water heater. LED lighting has a two inch receiver on the back. That's more for a bike rack or some type of a cargo rack that you might put on the back, not used for towing a vehicle. This is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. A lot of people ask, is Furion the only people who make wireless backup cameras? They're not, but they essentially provide the RV industry with these mounts, so naturally you're gonna go with the type of camera that is compatible with it. And because Furion makes the camera system as well, it kind of points you into the direction of getting a Furion camera. Schwintech slide back here, twin awnings, that pretty much span the entire length of the side, aside from the front section right there. This is another rack and pinion slide and another Schwintech slide up front. Let's take a quick look at the cargo area. So this does have a drop frame. Now this is a relatively narrow passage. It's probably two and a half feet wide by about three feet tall. So you do have quite a bit of room in here considering. You do have your power disconnect here, plus a power connection as well as cable connections there and you have a small outside stereo system, which is also really nice. Now we're gonna step inside this 387 FK. Up the aluminum steps. So this is an interesting floor plan. I don't think I've actually seen a floor plan like this yet. I've seen plenty of mid living room front kitchen floor plans, but this one stands out a little bit because the layout here and the transition from the living room area to the kitchen is entirely different than what I'm used to. Now you have your love seat on this side and you have a love seat over here, plus your theater seating right here. These seats are relatively small, even though they do fold out into bed, so you have a long bed that would essentially sit. So you have the ability to sleep two people here, plus two people here. 
it would definitely block off this area if you have both beds out. And these aren't huge love seats, but it's definitely a nice cozy space. So if you were to sit in this chair over here, you'd be able to see the TV at a bit of an angle. And if you sat over there, you'd be a little bit closer to it. That would probably be the ideal seating area, along with, of course, your theater seating, which naturally points directly at the TV. But this is a pretty nice layout. It's a good utilization of space, considering this isn't a terribly long fifth wheel. I like the little reading lights that they put above the chairs here. Those definitely would come in handy if you're trying to read a book or a magazine or just try to work on something and you need some extra lighting. This is the real difference in this unit. The fact that it has this interesting staircase that takes you up to the front overhang where you see the front kitchen in this unit. This is really cool. So they've utilized additional space here by giving you these rather large stools. So these stools tuck underneath here and you have this huge eating area right here. While we're here, let's take a look at the price. It has a $95,962 MSRP. They're asking $66,915. As we pan around and you take a closer look at the kitchen, you'll see that they really have a focus on countertop space, but more importantly, the focus is on giving you more of a residential feeling kitchen. I mean, how many units do you see that can rival this with countertop space? If you look at the area underneath the microwave, which is a full-size residential microwave, all that countertop space, you have a nice sink with a window above it, you have more countertop space on each side of the refrigerator, really nice, plus a little ledge here towards the back. You even have more storage back here. So that is really cool, and I believe they probably put one on each side. Yes, they do. Then coming over here, taking a look at the stove and oven, check that out. Isn't that beautiful looking? I mean, how often do you see something that nice in a towable RV? That is really cool. Plus, all this countertop space on each side, really nice upscale residential style exhaust vent. That is super cool. And even if you look at the window valances, they have a really nice high quality textured feel to them. This does have the dual style roller shade. So you have this roller shade right here, and then you have the other roller shade which comes down as well if you wanna block out light. Going back down the stairs. See it has a large 50 inch TV in here, really nice 40 inch wide fireplace, a nice little nook here if you wanna put DVDs or other things that you might wanna put there. I like how they've trimmed off a lot of the panels as well. So you don't just have the basic wallboard, you have wallboard as well as trimming, some nice molding around the top also. Your touchscreen LCI panel controls your lighting, your slides, tank levels, all of that. Going into the bathroom, so check this out. Dual vanity, love the dark and light tones in here. The contrast I think looks amazing but it has pretty much a full-size residential shower in here. This thing is huge. Don't really need to measure the ceiling heights in here because I really doubt anybody's gonna be tall enough to hit their head on it. I'd imagine seven feet at least. Lots of room, especially in front of the toilet. I mean, you have just this entire space here. This is a wonderfully laid out bathroom. Again, this is kind of rare for this type of floor plan. Going back, you have slide and awning control here. Two awnings, six slides. You heard that right, six slides. Now let's take a look in this door. Nice coat closet. Nice area to hang keys, put your keys, wallet, things like that. Let's take a look at the bedroom area. So first of all, this door actually magnetically attaches to the end here, which gives you the ability not to have to latch anything, which is pretty nice. Taking a look back here, king size bed, again, very high ceilings, whisper quiet air conditioning systems, both front and back. Nice space for a stackable washer and dryer, tons of closet space, and look at all the room in front of the bed. That's because this bedroom has opposing slides. You have a slide here for the king size bed, and you have a slide here for your TV and your wardrobe. This is really nice, tons of cabinets. This just has a great, great layout for a bedroom. Honestly, in my opinion, this is a really, really nice RV. Again, twin whisper quiet air conditioning systems. Gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. Has a lot to like about it. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.